It is often a relief to be wrong, is among the more startling declarations in the autobiography of the singer-songwriter and founder of the Smiths, Morrissey. The book is as controversial as you'd expect, not least because it's printed as a Penguin classic, an honour normally reserved for the likes of the Keats, Yeats and Wilds Morrissey sang about. He didn't send out review copies in advance, but already reviewers are glowing. The only book signing, though, was rather annoyingly in Gothenburg. Here's our culture and digital editor, Paul Mason. There's no fan quite like a Morrissey fan. And they were queuing today in Gothenburg, Sweden, the only place the great Mona of Manchester is doing a signing. No interviews, of course. The autobiography, titled Autobiography, was launched as far away as possible from the British music press. But fans came from all over. Yeah, it's crazy, but this is things we do for Morrissey. Um, he's my god. <laughs> But the legendary scenes in the book have changed. The club in Covent Garden, where the Smiths first played, is now an Apple store. The Grave Morris pub in East London, now a Paddy Power. The gritty streets where he filmed this, less gritty. The leaning post is still here. But the world that made Morrissey so miserable has changed. So why has this 457-page poem of self-pity become an instant classic? Well, in the first place, it's good. Even from page one, it's clear the lad from Davy Hume can write. My childhood is streets upon streets, upon streets, upon streets. Streets to define you and streets to confine you. We live in forgotten Victorian knife-plunging Manchester, where everything lies wherever it was left over 100 years ago. The, more you ignore me, the, closer I get. the book is full of revelations. Morrissey had his first serious relationship at 35 with a man when he was singing this. He was grilled by Special Branch after saying bad things about Margaret Thatcher and he can get quite annoyed about little things. I vomit, he writes, profusely when I discover that the album has been pressed in Japan with Sandy Shaw's version of Hand in Glove included. I am so disgusted by this that I beg people to kill me. The Morrissey variation on the classic neurotic boy outsider posture was to uh, mix it in with the passive-aggressive intellectual, the man who was smarter than anybody else but, but preferred to ostentatiously hang out in a corner waiting for people to notice. Morrissey is famous for being gobby on the monarchy. You know, you're from England. Did you enjoy the Queen's Jubilee? It was such a lovely celebration. It, it was a celebration of what? Oh. 60 years of majesty. Yeah, but 60 years of dictatorship. And there's more in the book like that. But what's the attraction to the Spotify generation of a 54-year-old virtual recluse? I got his, um, his name uh, signed on my wrist, and I'm going to get it tattooed today. So it's going to be there forever. And... Um, it just means a lot to me. He's very special. Morrissey became a kind of human montage of all the tragic icons that obsessed us in the 1970s, from James Dean to Elsie Tanner. We wanted men to look good but be emotional, and he was. We wanted rock stars to throw gladioli from the stage. Actually, we didn't want that, but he did it anyway. In my life. And he's had an argument with his publisher, Penguin, but with sales brisk, heaven knows, they're not miserable now. Kevin.